Okay, we're back here with this walleye that we started. What we're going to do is we're getting ready to paint it. What I did here is on the fins, like this tail fin, had a couple of broken fin rays on here. I took a pencil, made some light lines on here, and that way it will blend in. But what we want to do is we want to darken up these areas like this and around the head here with some... Uh, what we're going to use is a brown paint mixed with a little bit of black. And what we're going to do is we're just going to shade these areas. And that way they'll blend in better. I'm going to show you here. Just, just blend them in, shade them a little bit. Okay, we got the tail there. Now we're going to do the head here. See that? We're doing both sides of this fish, so we got to do kind of a, a good job on both sides. We're going to paint both sides. This is just a, that way we want to use, it'll blend in a little bit better, the paint. So, we're just going to do the tail a little bit too. I just want to blend that in together. Now the white we'll do on the bottom. We'll do the bottom, the bottom areas of the jaw. We'll do that in white. But I just want to get just a little bit more on here. Just to blend that in a little bit. We'll just set him right there. I got to clean up the brush. I'll be going back and forth to clean up the brush. Clean all the water and air out of your brush. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a white. We've got to thin it down with a little water. A good consistency. One that'll flow good. After you've done enough spraying with, the, with this, you'll know just about what the texture should be or the, what it should look like coming out of when you're mixing it. What we're going to do is we're going to do the belly now. And what you do is you just give this a nice coat. Remember we might, we, we put a seam up the belly. What we're doing is we're just going to go ahead and give that one quick coat of white. All the way around wherever you got that. Uh, wherever you did any repairs and inside the mouth area. We'll go ahead and do that now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to we got that covered up a little bit. We've got our, our book here. This is an awfully good book to get when you're uh, thinking about getting into taxidermy and that. It's Breakthrough uh, Fish Painting Schedule. It tells you about every fish you need tells you what kind of paints to use, uh, what late, what time to put them on. And what we're doing, we're doing a super hide white now. We're, we're getting the colors blended in and we're going to go up the sides of the fish a little bit. Uh, in here it'll say do the interior of the mouth and the belly with a heavy coat of white. And that's the, what they're talking about the belly is this area right here. We don't want to go up on the sides of the fish with this. What we're going to do is we're going to do these, these gill covers here a little bit. Now watch we don't run out of paint. We've got just enough there. Now we'll just let that dry a little bit. We'll get our next layer of paint ready to go, which will be a sparkling white pearl. And we'll do up the sides of the fish this time with that. We can always come back and do that again if we need to. We'll let that dry a little bit first off. What we're going to do is we're going to take this pearl sparkle white, spray these white hair. We're going to go halfway up the side of the fish, put a lateral line. Here's the lateral line. 
we're going to spray up to about here because we don't want to cover these white areas up here. We're going to do the gill rake, these here, around the mouth, and uh, on both sides. But uh, it doesn't take a lot of this to cover a lot. You don't hardly even see it going on. You can see it coming out of the brush. But I'm going to thin this down just a hair to get it to flow better. Sometimes it takes a little bit. I'm going to add a little water to it to get it to flow. It's a little thicker than what I thought it would be. There we go. Mix it up a little bit. Get these handy little stirs. I'll show you here in a little bit what that stir looks like. Okay. We're about ready to roll again. I'm going to tweak my brush just a little. I'm going to give everything just a light coat of this. And you'll see this sparkle will kind of jump out. You won't see it right away. Go halfway up the lateral line. You can see a little bit of that sparkle now. There she comes. You can hear it too. We'll do it around the mouth here. We're doing halfway up both sides. We're painting both sides of this fish, so. Okay. We'll come back and we'll do the belly of this fish again in white and that, but we're going to get it going here. Uh, anyway, it says on here to go up halfway up. And we didn't spray the fins. Now we're going to do some yellow ochre on this. What we're going to do is we're going to get the... We'll do some fins in the back and that. We're going to get the, rid of this stuff, this pearl sparkle. White. You do a lot of different paint changing here. And save this stuff. I'll clean my brush up. Now you can buy a lot of your stuff out of... Uh, the taxidermy supply catalogs and that, you know, bass colors. I get the bass colors out of there and that, but uh, like the yellow ochres, I can get that at one of the hobby shops or whatever. Uh, don't need to go to, I can get it for about, I don't know, really cheap. But some of the colors I just trust from the taxidermy supply houses, like the bass green, stuff like that. And the uh, metallic colors. And you see I'm cleaning that brush up. What we want to do in here, and I'm going by this guide here, let you know what we're doing. We're going to spray a light coat on the side of the fish, starting at the back and fading out slightly below the pectoral fin. And that's, uh, let me get this thing here, uh, that's down to here. We're going to go ahead and just give this a light coat, see if we can get this over here where you can see it. Doesn't have to be a lot. Okay, we got that side. Okay, well, we got that yellow on there. Now, now this yoke, ochre doesn't look very bright until you, <laughs> it'll come through, you'll see here in a little bit. Uh, now we're going to sp spray the pectoral fin and all the lower fins. That's this fin here and all the, and all the lower fins because they got a kind of a yellowish tint to them. I'm just going to go ahead and Give that a little bit of a spray. Doesn't take a lot. Just give them a little bit of a spray. Now you got to remember we're doing both sides of this fish, so we got to turn him around. So 
so we got that baby. We got all the fins on the lower fins done now. And this will start coming together. I mean, it won't look that good right now. But anyway, we got the lower fins done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give this whole thing a coat of yellow, or I mean gold. Get the, this gold color. See, I got a gold pearl here. And I want a sparkle. Uh, it calls for a sparkle, and I want that sparkle. So I'm going to look for my gold sparkle here. I'm going to mix it about half and half. That way I'll get that color that I want. I'll show you here. Let me get my mixer. I'll show you this little dandy mixer I got. But anyway, you see I'm doing a lot of running back and forth and trying to dodge this camera. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go ahead and put some gold sparkle in here. So, I'm going to mix it about half and half with the gold pearl. Okay, and then this little mixer, you can buy them for about ten dollars, they're battery operated. And they really do a fine job mixing your, I can mix it right in a cup or a jar without shaking it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over where the yellow was. Okay. We're going to do the... We're going to go ahead and just touch the fins a little bit that we did, the lower fins here. Doesn't take a lot. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the yellows that we did here where we did the yellow. We're going to give that a, just a coat. Go down below the lateral line there a little bit. Just down to that white area. And we're going to hold this up like so. Get around here and do the same thing. Let me get this out of here first. Let me get this piece of paper out of here. get rid of this stuff and then we're going to go on to a different color in our book here it's going to call for a uh, chocolate brown and we're going to spray the markings on the back of the tail we've got some chocolate brown here what we're going to do is we're going to do the markings on the tail and that uh, and on the fins, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give that back just a little bit of a coat. And then you can see these markings down the side here. We're just going to go ahead and give those just a little bit of a marking there. Now they don't give them too much. Uh, you know, you, you won't see it right now, but. I'm going to turn this over and get the other side here. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. Going to do a little bit of a. The layer down the back. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and make these markings down. They're like, like, kind of like bars.
Now that I'm gonna put a bar on the tail here, get a tail of coat, and get both sides. I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of the top fin. We're gonna do both sides of that. Okay. Now we got that. Now what we're gonna do? I'm going to get a little bit of green out. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little green in this and blend it in there. Just a touch of green is all I'm going to do. I'm just doing a very little touch. But if you're going to do any a lot of fish, you can get these airbrushes. You can do a good job with a $70 airbrush. Well, what we're going to do is just gonna give this a touch. I mean, we're standing back here. Get a little bit of a. I'm gonna turn him over right here and get some green on him here. There we go. Now, what we want to do is we'll take a look at this fish. I want to see what he looks like after we. Uh, Brighten him up a little bit. Right, I'm doing some black here. And what this black will do, you darken down your fish here. This will give you your final value on your colors, to darken it a little. And uh, we just, just a hint. And that kind of blends those colors too. Doesn't take a lot. There we go. It'll kind of bring those colors together. I want to tilt this just a little bit so you can see this. The final kind of ties everything together. Pretty darn good job here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of this black color now. Or you can build a mounting stand, whatever. I'm just trying to get this to where we can work with it a little bit. I'm gonna do more white because it, because of the overspray and stuff like that. This will get us to where we just about want to be. I'll show you here. Make sure you're spraying good here. We're gonna go back here. Make sure we can see this. We're going to spray the inside of the mouth. Then we're going to spray the fish here. You can see what I'm doing here. You'll probably see that color start to come out. And then I can go ahead and we'll just go ahead and do some of these white areas that need to be done like along the head here. Like that. We can come back and do that other stuff. See how we're kind of the white. Now we got we're getting a good flow going now. We're still we're going back over the white we went over before. It takes a while. This is a big fish. Getting a little bit there.
Now what we're doing is I'm going to tilt that up a little bit because I want to get more on this side. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to put a little white band on here, on this fin here. Then I want to do the white spot on the tail. We're going to turn him over and do him do a do a band on the, this fin right here. And then we'll do the tail. Okay. I'll make sure I got this all covered here. Now. Go ahead and I'm gonna just make sure we got the inside of the mouth covered good. Turn this over. See how she looks on this side. See, I want to do these white areas here. Okay, I'll make sure I got a good now you can see kind of see that fish. Now we're going back to this pearl sparkle white. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the white areas we just did. Okay. Do the inside of the mouth, the lips. Do these white areas here. And we'll just keep going to we'll just keep doing these. Okay, and then we're gonna turn her over. Do this side, same thing. Same routine. Don't forget the white on the tail. Anyway, this will give you your your nice shiny look and sparkly color. I'm just gonna give these fins just a little bit of a dusting here. Cause I like to do that. The lower fins anyway. Okay, now the only thing left we got to do is we're going to do the gills. We'll paint those red. We'll get to them. Now what you want to do on the gills, if you can see these gills here, put some paper towel in the mouth. That way it won't spray through. Got to be careful, this red will really spray out. You see how fast that went on there? I'm going to do this other one. It'll come out of there too. So we got the gills done now. Doesn't take much. What we're going to do is give this a coat of uh, gloss clear paint. And you'll see how this will start. When you put this on, the colors will kind of pop right out. It just makes it look nice. Just give it a light coat. Light coat. Then we'll let this side dry. But see how that kind of that paint job come out on that? Oh, let me lift this up just a little bit and you can see that. 
You see that? You can see those markings on here, the bars where we spray painted it. Anyway, that's going to turn out real nice. When this dries, we'll turn it over and do the other side exactly the same. Get the inside of the mouth. Well, you can hang this up too and do it. It's uh, I've done that before. You hang it up and uh, give it a good coat. And like this area here, we can always come back and add a little more black to it and that will darken it up. Your color will remain the same. The black is just going to give you a different value. Uh, let's see if I can get a close-up of that. Anyway, that fish is going to look good. Uh, you can see the colors that came out on it, on the sides. This is going to be belly down, kind of going after another fish. That's what we're going to do with that one. And then you can go back and take a look at it, and do some more work if you want to on it. But uh, anyway, this fish is going to be a good fish. This will look nice. Uh, anyway, that's all there is to mounting a walleye and painting it. It goes pretty quick once you get the hang of it. Uh, invest in an airbrush and get your basic fish paints and you'll be able to do this. Uh, it looks a lot harder than what it actually is. A lot of people are getting out of the fish for the simple reason they don't want to deal with the paints and that. I use water-based paints. That way I don't have to have an elaborate ventilation system. You use lacquer-based paints. you got to have an elaborate system to clean the air and that. I didn't want to have to deal with that. And the paints, the water-based paints are just as good. Especially for commercial work or hobby work. Anyway, that fish is good. Uh, we'll get back to you later on another project. Thanks for watching.